Playing with a championship game at stake, a Pop Warner football team tonight took to the field with one less player. It was dedicated to Gino Canahele, killed in a moped crash last month. KITV's Jill Kurmoto was at the game at Aloha Stadium and joins us with the story. Jill. Sean, for the, young, for the Hawaii Young Warriors, tonight's game was the most meaningful of their undefeated regular season. And despite losing one of their own, the young linebacker was still driving the team. With every play, Gino was there. We had that rain earlier when the game first started. That's him. Three weeks ago, 14-year-old Gino Kanahele was killed when he lost control of his moped on a tight turn on Kokonohua Road. For me, the past three weeks have been crazy and, and hard because i got to hide my emotions eh, for my kids. Eh. They called him the heart and soul of the team, playing six years with the Warrior organization. So his loss hit the young team hard. They had a practice game last Tuesday. It was the first time they played without him. And it was rough to see because he's usually all over the field. You see that boy all over. Another Kanahele was still on the field, Gino's brother, 15-year-old Torres, who was with him the night Gino died. The Hawaii Young Warriors were hoping to take the Oahu crown tonight, then play the Division II Pop Warner Championship Saturday. The goal, to represent Hawaii at the Pop Warner Super Bowl at Disney World. Winning this game means everything to this organization. It's a young organization. And, uh, it means everything to the kids to try and get Gina to Florida. But despite their best efforts, the Warriors came up short against the Kahalu'u Heiei Broncos. A tough loss for the team. Now the final score tonight, 12-8 Broncos, but what the Warriors lacked in points, they made up in passion. And despite the loss, they can still be proud of their record season. Reporting live, Joe Kuramoto, KITV4 Island Television News.